All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna put this video up a little bit earlier so you have, um, I know my normal schedule is Tuesday and Friday, but I'm gonna put this up on a Thursday just so you have time. It's Anzac Day today here. And in case you wanna make Anzac biscuits instead of going out to the store and buying some, the recipe is for, here for you. So let's get started. I'm gonna start off with rolled oats. And remember guys, all the um, ingredients and measurements for this recipe are down in the description box, so don't forget to go down there and um, check out what you need. I've then got some plain flour or all-purpose flour and sugar. Now, I'm going to give these a quick mix and then we're going to um, start up with the wet ingredients. These are really easy to make, uh, really quick, really simple. There's only a few ingredients. All right, so that's our dry ingredients done. Now we're getting on to our wet ingredients. So here I have some butter and golden syrup. So what we're going to do is we're going to melt these two together over a stove and once we've done that, we will uh, combine the wet and the dry ingredients. We also have one more step. So at this point, you're gonna to wanna to start boiling yourself a kettle of water. All right, let's move over to the stove. I've also got my oven preheated to 160 degrees and I've lined two trays with some parchment paper. All right, so now all of our um, butter has melted and I'm just gonna pour that straight into my dry ingredients. And our last thing is we're going to add some bicarb soda. All right, so in my little bowl, I have some boiling water and you wanna do this step right at the very last minute. And here I have some bicarb soda. I'm gonna add my bicarb soda to my boiling water Give it a quick mix just to get it nice and incorporated and dissolved. And that is now going in with our dry ingredients as well. So now we're going to mix the dry ingredients and the wet ingredients together until we have a nice um, cohesive mixture. And then we can get started with forming our cookies or our Anzac biscuits. Now this is a very traditional recipe. I know there are other recipes that add um, different things. We're going to go for the tra traditional today. If you want to add other things you can like sultanas. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to do the traditional ones for today. And any more dry bits. Everything's beautifully mixed together, so we're going to get started. I am going to grab tablespoons full of the mixture and I'm going to light, put them onto a baking tray. And once I've done that, I will bring you back and show you what they look like. So here are my tray of Anzac biscuits. I'm going to put these ones in the oven. I already have um, one tray in the oven baking already. So I'm going to put these in 160 degrees in a preheated oven. So I just preheated mine for about 10 minutes and I'm baking them for around 20 minutes until they're golden and crispy. So I will show you what they look like and then we can get to the best part of making cookies and that's the eating part. So I've taken my tray out of the oven. These are our delicious cookies. Um, these do spread quite a lot so when you do arrange them um, when you are putting your balls of uh, dough on the tray, just be aware to put them about two inches apart because they do spread quite a lot. I'm going to leave them on the tray for a few minutes before I move them to a cooling rack because they are still quite soft uh, when you take them out of the oven. And yeah, they look and smell delicious. I hope you try these. I hope you like them. Uh, for everyone in Australia, I hope you have... Um, a great Anzac Day public holiday and I will see you next time on Do It Frugal.
Don't forget, if you like my channel, to please like, comment, and subscribe. I'd love to hear from you, and I'll see you next time. Bye!